guys, welcome back. So today's TED Talk will be Loki and the Healing Power of Anger, Cliff Notes version. As we cleaned, I came across a lot of stuff. It unlocked a lot of memories that I had suppressed on purpose, and boy did I get filled with fucking rage. I could have killed a whole village of people and not even blink because I was that fucking angry. And it stayed with me. <laughs> Stay with me. And Lucky's, you know, Lucky's like, you know what? It's okay to be angry at people. It, we're not Christians. I don't repeat that to the end of time. Pagans are not Christians. You don't have to fucking forgive and forget and be really submissive and everything. As I was looking through the last bit of Christian ticky tack to throw out, I'm like, oh my God, these people are doormats. That person abused you and you forgave them and they abused you again and you forgave them again and maybe someday God will change them. No, that person is a prick. That's why they're abusing you. You don't have to forgive abusive pricks. It's the one thing I love about paganism. If somebody was shitty or horrible to you, you don't have to love them. And if a God was shitty or horrible or their God was shitty or hor their people were shitty or horrible to you, or they had toxic teachings. You don't got to love them either. You don't have to work with them for the rest of eternity. Because fuck them. That's why. And all these horrible memories from my childhood came up. Because I've had undifferentiated arthritis all my life. And, you know, my parents were the kind of people that if they didn't want to look at stuff. And didn't want to hear about stuff. They just, nah, la, 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 right? Like, real fucking useful to the person that's chronically ill. And, you know, it... Looking at a light so I don't sneeze, looking at a light so I don't sneeze, looking at a light so I don't sneeze. It, it it really didn't, you know, it really didn't help me. So what happened? It exasperated things. It made my arthritis probably ten times worse. And we don't have to go into how horrific things were, but let's just say they were pretty bad. And in the end, in the end, I got, you know, a lot of rage. But I wasn't allowed to feel that rage because my parents obviously didn't want to face it. And, you know, a lot of abusive people will gaslight you. They didn't do what you said they did. What they did was normal. And a lot of people have normalized the abuse they got as children. And they'll talk about it like it was normal. Because it was normal with what they were growing up with. And it's how they've learned to cope. It was just normal that they lost their temper and hit me. It was just how people are. Um, you know, there are times I watch The Simpsons and it's funny. And there are times I watch The Simpsons and I'm like, that's horribly fucking abusive. If you treated your kids like that, you deserve to lose your children is what you deserve. So, I got to preach it, sister. So, you know, the healing power of anger is you don't have to forgive people. You do not. You do not. None of this forgive them for your sake bullshit. Some people don't deserve your forgiveness. And that is what Loki has pointed out to me. And he's like, this is timely. Preach it, sister. Some people are pricks and dicks, and they don't deserve your forgiveness. They do not deserve forgiveness, and you're not going to give it to them because you're a better person. Fuck them. No, you're not going to forgive them because there's nothing they've done to truly make up for it. There's nothing they've done to truly make amends. If they were just cringing and doing everything because now they feel like shit, and now they just don't want to feel bad anymore, that's not truly making amends. Truly making amends is going and getting therapy admitting to the abuse, you know, truly changing their life, going on to become a better person. It's not just being a dick that represses their dick dickish eyed a little bit and doesn't hate you so much or changes the abuse to from physical to mental or verbal, verbal or something. They're still a toxic, horrible dick. And <laughs> he's like, we really hate our father, don't we? Yes, we do. And, you know, as I was finishing cleaning up, you know, I came across a couple of stuff for things for my father and I'm like you know I understand my rage towards men some days now I really do because my father was an abusive prick he really was and I if my brother is to the end of time going to do fucking shit to disrupt my life for the rest of my life it's because of the way my father abused him and I know that but it doesn't make my brother's horse shit any easier to handle either he, he fucking abused my brother and I'm like no I hate this guy because I used to hear my brother screams as he got beat. I'm like, yes, I fucking hate you, you prick. I hope there is a Catholic hell and I hope you're burning in it. And if I come there, I'm gonna punch you in the dick. So <laughs> he's like, yeah. You, and I realized as I was doing the Marie Kondo thing and looking at stuff that sparked, whether it sparked joy or anything, instant rage. Anytime I saw anything that belonged to my father and I hadn't claimed, or I saw a picture of my father, I'm like, yeah, because this dick bag. 
Later part of his life became a sweet little angel that liked to pretend he never did any of the horrific abusive shit that he did to us. And it was like, no, that's not right. What am I going to do? Dig him up and fucking kick his corpse or piss on his grave? That's not good enough. No, I'm getting rid of his shit. I'm getting rid of any photos of him because I fucking hate him. I don't have to love him. So <laughs> he's like, yep. Yeah. And I'm like, you know, this would be one thing. I told Loki, I said, if my father ever comes back in some kind of spirit form, you can fucking put them wherever you can put people. And I know you can't, so don't pretend you can't. <laughs> and he's like, okay. And Odin has standing orders too. And I told Asmodeus, I said, if there is a Christian hell, I don't care if I'm going there, but if this dick bag there is there, I won't put in charge of his torture because I'm going to get him back for every fucking thing he ever did. And who better than me? Because I know what he did because he did it to either to my brother or me. And he's like, oh, <laughs> good. You're getting into the spirit of things because Asmodeus is the creature of judgment. And I honestly got, that's part of the reason why the demons want to work with me in a Catholic sense of, who better to pity you than the demons of hell? Because <laughs> you've already lived for your hell on earth, and they're like, you see, you see why we rebelled? Because we went through this? No, is he really a demon from hell? I don't know. Some days he is, some days he's God, some days he's um, Jin, some days he's something else. But, you know, the main thing is that we're getting together and we're working through this. And he's like, it's okay to have rage because he's the day of wrath. He's like, it's okay to be pissed off and want to take a chainsaw to people. Don't do it or you end up in jail, but it's okay to feel those feelings. You're totally allowed to feel that rage and just sit with it and feel it and let it feel throw, flow through you. And then it's great because you know at least you have enough self-respect to feel something towards that person. You feel rage. You should. Abusive people are the fucking worst. Uh, and I'm like, you know, this is why my life ended up the way it is. This is exactly why I never got married. This is exactly why I never had kids, you know. Fuck them, so, and fuck the church, too, so, also fuck the Boy Scouts and fuck 20 other people on this planet, so, you're allowed to feel rage, you are, you're allowed to feel rage, you're allowed to feel anger, especially if you were abused, to feel anger on the behalf of other victims, you're allowed to feel rage, you're allowed to want to throat punch people, but be specific, don't just say, oh, I fucking hate the Catholic Church, say, I hate the Catholic Church because gay people are going to hell, but priest abusing children is perfectly okay and God still loves them, fuck you! <laughs> be specific in your rage, and then people will be like, yes, I can agree with that, or no, I don't agree with it, but you're, we're, you're a pagan we're pagan, you're allowed to feel all the fucking rage you need to feel because it's a gift from the gods. Loki can really do rage. <laughs> Anybody that's worked with him is like, yeah, that's the redhead in him coming out. He doesn't have to have red hair, but that's the redhead in him coming out. That's the rage in him coming out. And if you want to see spooky rage, go to the old man. You can tell when the old man <laughs> is in rage. He gets like so quiet. It's like black hole of quiet, like all noise just starts to fall into that black hole. And you you know, and, and you know that's not like his final form either. And you're like, you're fucking content. But, you know, it's good to do that. So I threw out all the fucking stuff that I found, like, related to my father that I hadn't embraced on my own. And I'm like, well, you know, it's a shame because some of it was kind of cute, but it was like too much dad energy. And I was like, you know what? Dad, you were an abusive prick. That's why I'm throwing out this thing that I would otherwise like, but it reminds me of you. And no, I can't go there. I also threw out some stuff because some of the family history had come up and I realized what horrible fucking monsters were in my family. I threw out stuff related to those people too. And so the house does feel better. But now I have the holy rage point. You know, point. We might be stuck in holy rage for quite a while. And it's fine. It's a sacred gift. You are allowed to get pissed off. And you can't get at the dead, and there's no sense us uh, sitting here and talking about what kind of effect of curse will work on the dead. Just talk to your gods. Talk it out. Let them know how angry you are. And Asmodeus is, like, nodding. Like, if anybody could get to the dead, it would be the old man, Loki, or your average demon. They could get to the dead. They could get to the dead. And they they could. And <laughs> they're, they're like, you have enough rage in you. You would burn down heaven at this point if you could. And I'm like, oh, yes, I would. And it's not like that stagecraftian, you know, atheistic 
Satanism where, oh, God's the enemy, I'm going to, you know, do all the sacrilegious shit. It's like, I got fucking legitimate reasons to hate your ass. <laughs> I'm coming for you. I'm not at war with God. I'm not at war with angels. I don't give a shit. They can have their religion. Just stay the fuck away from me. So, <laughs> he's like, oh, he's so angry. But it's okay. It's healthy. It's normal to get angry. Don't don't let it fester inside. Share it with the world. Say, you know what? I'm angry today, and this is why I'm angry. But articulate, articulate, be this is specifically why I'm angry, not just like fuck men or fuck women or, you know, that passive aggressive bullshit people post on face Facebook. Be like, this is why I'm like, fuck this today specifically and fuck this specific person or fuck this specific group of people because, you know, like people that abuse people or whatever, be, be, be specific. And most people be like, yeah, I see that. So in the others that don't fuck them. So. Be mad at them too. So, if you guys like what you see, like, comment, subscribe, and we will see you later. Bye bye.